What's going on guys? It's STG. On this episode, I'm going to show you some pickups I've recently acquired. Also, I'm going to be doing a couple mail calls. So a few weeks ago, I was looking online and I was looking at a bullion site that I normally buy from. I hardly ever buy gold from them. The premiums on gold from that site had gone up dramatically last year, even before the dramatic increase in price. So I tend not to buy too much gold from them anymore, and I actually buy a lot more silver from them. So I go on their site once or twice a week, I see what they have in stock, they're updating their site daily, and I just happen to come across a couple of items, one which I purchased before and one which I've never seen them have before. Uh, and I was quite surprised they had it in stock. They had one of each. I decided what the hell, let me pull the trigger. And for a little bit over a hundred bucks, I got two beautiful items. So let me show you what I got, guys. The first item was a vintage item. And check it out, guys. Whoop, let me adjust that, there we go. It is a E-Logo 1 ounce Inglehard bar in the, I believe, the original shrink wrap. And for some reason, someone taped this a very long time ago. I'm not even going to take the tape off. I'm pretty sure it's still sealed because there is some toning. But overall, it's in amazing condition, guys. Really nice, common <coughs> E-Logo bar. 1,150,000 of these produced by Inglehard between 1980, 1985, thereabouts. So I got that for a pretty reasonable price considering the high price of silver lately. Next item I purchased before, I figured, eh, it's gonna be a common year. It's gonna be 2023, maybe 2022, maybe somewhere in the 2016-2018 uh, time frame. The last one I got, I believe it was from 2016. And I purchased a couple of these that were actually from last year. So guys, let me show you. And it is a beautiful toned up two ounce Libertad from the year 2000. Remember Conan O'Brien had a segment in the year 2000. <laughs> it was back in the 90s. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but you could watch it on YouTube. Check it out. Pretty funny stuff. Anyways, let's get back to the bullion. So this is a two ounce put out by the Mexican Mint. Beautiful little two ounce round here. I got in my capsule. And for the year 2000, they've made 9,000 of these guys. These are why the premiums on some of these can go for crazy money. I'm pretty sure this is worth at least double what I paid, so I got an amazing deal on this. I was so happy when I saw it was the year 2000. Awesome, beautiful Libertad that's going in the deep stack. And guys, I actually did get um, a couple more vintage bars. I know I've been buying a ton of vintage lately. I actually bought <laughs> I actually bought another um, vintage bar today, so I'll be getting that in the near future. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna tell you guys about that bar. But tonight we have a couple of mail calls, and one of them is uh, a package with vintage bars that I bought from a community member. And again, we have another letter from Miss Tuli Tuli here. So let's see what Miss Tuli Tuli has sent me, guys. I'm just gonna cut it open. No letter opener for me. Sorry, my silver journey, but I prefer something that is easier for me to handle and grip. <laughs> so check it out, guys. Ooh. STG, here is my new one, and we got a new channel chip, I believe. So let's see what Miss Tui Tui has sent me. If I could open it here, here we go. Check it out. Wrapped it very well. Ooh, hope you don't mind me ripping this open a little bit here, but. 
you can see I got the patience of a two year old. Do 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 do. The piece de resistance. A few moments later. No, I'm not gonna play that clip. <laughs> Tui Tui. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Monochromatic format. Love it, Tuli. Really nice. And we have, ooh, we have the beautiful Tuli Tuli core here, which was melted. You guys know the story. I did a mail call video a couple of videos back. Color. Monochromatic, very nice design to Lee. Very nice chip. Thank you so much for sending me that. You sent it to my new PO box. I got it, no problemo. So thank you so much for sending me. I really do appreciate that. Now, let us move on. Let us go into the bundle here. Little bundle of joy. So guys, this is pretty heavy here. In case you don't believe me, we're going to break out the scale. <laughs> yes, we are. And this is in regular ounces. So guys, you can see here we're over 23 ounces. How much is that in Troy ounces? We're going to find out. That is approximately 21.3 Troy ounces, guys. What could be in here? I don't know. Well, I do know, and you don't, but you're about to find out. So let's see what this member has sent me, guys. I'm going to leave it a surprise until I get it opened. If I actually get it open here, hope I'm not cutting it up here. Okay. Let's see what we got before we show the goodies. If I could get them out. Holy shnikes. What do we got in here? So, man, STG. It's all smashed. Sorry about that, Mr. Anonymous, who you will soon find out. Did you actually lick this man to close it up? <laughs> oh, I'm touching your saliva, dude. <laughs> Check it out, guys. It is from none other than Emerald Coast Stacker. Look at that. That's a pretty cool plane, man. Check it out. Emerald Coast. For those of you who do not know who Emerald Coast Stacker is, he is a former U.S. Marine. He stacks. He collects. He loves all types of silver, gold, precious metals. He really loves odd weight vintage silver bars and he's just an awesome person in this community. I remember when he first started his channel and he used to go on these really long <laughs> rants but I, listening to him he sounded like a pretty intelligent and uh, interesting guy. So he's, he's actually a pretty cool guy. Some of you might know him as Midlife Crisis. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have one of those in a few years, but um, we'll see. <laughs> um, and check it out, guys. He sent me his hollow sticker. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we have his... What is this? Bring me your finest meats and cheese. Isn't that a logo from somewhere? I could have sworn that's a logo from somewhere. I hope that's not copyright infringement right there, Emerald. You better be careful. <laughs> They're watching you, the Illuminati. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Um, I guess there is some... Um, cryptic messages on the US dollar bill, but we're not, that's a, that's a video for another time. <laughs> Here we go. I hope this isn't too personal. Okay, I'm just going to read it. Stack that gold. I cannot thank you enough for sending me the Whitman ingot book. Yes, I got him a Whitman uh, album to put one ounce vintage bars in. It was actually an old album from like the 70s 
and he loved that album. So I'm very fortunate he got that. I also did include a one ounce, I believe it was an Inglehard bar, and uh, I'm really glad he enjoyed that. So thank you so much, Emerald, uh, for this card here. I am still trying to find, uh, what does that say? Uh, figure which has which bar will make the cut ah okay which bar will make the cut cheers emerald sorry emerald it's a little hard for me it's a recursive your writing is not bad it's just you don't read cursive too much on a daily basis at least i don't so thank you so much for the letter i really do appreciate that handwritten letter my handwriting is chicken scratch and <coughs> mm, i want to show you guys what I bought from Emerald, because this video is getting a bit on the long side here. So bear with me, guys. Ooh, we got some sweet vintage goodness that I probably should not be touching with my hands, but I am. So let me show you what I got here, guys. Check it out. We're gonna go in order here. You hear that sound? Beautiful ingots. And let's check it out. <laughs> we got a Simmons Refco bar, guys. Check it out. Simmons Refco. So Simmons was based out of Chicago, Illinois in the 1960s and 70s. And then in the late 70s to early 80s, it was, I believe, probably purchased by Refco. I forgot it's some people's initials and company basically a um, kind of I guess I think it was a private wealth management company that specialized in precious metals and um, you know stuff of that nature so they basically purchased the company and then I think by 1982 or 83 the company basically got absorbed by some recycling company so they weren't around probably for more than about 20 years or so and this just happens to be a type a of this bar we see the s logo here and you can see the 10 in the troy ounce that's what separates it that's how you can tell it is a type a and according to all Engelhard guys there's only 500 of these bars in existence very rare bar I do appreciate Emerald giving me a amazing deal on that, which will never be told to anybody. <laughs> he made me promise. So <laughs> I'm keeping my word. I'll take it to the grave, Emerald. Okay, next up, you're saying to yourself, wait a minute, didn't I just see that bar? No, this is the type B bar. So if you can see from the type A to the type B, you can see the 10 ounce here, the font is a little bit different. There's a few differences you can see in the nines and in the 10 here. Um, so this is the type B bar. And according to all Engelhard, there is only 5,000 of these left. So two very rare, somewhat, somewhat rare and very, I would consider very rare bar that Emerald was gracious enough to sell to me at a great deal. So Emerald Brother, thank you so, so much. I'm always coming across vintage, so if I see anything that um, tickles your fancy, if you see anything in my videos, please let me know. Goes the same for anybody. If anyone ever sees anything, please let me know. I'm willing to work with people. Um, I'm always open to selling and especially trading for gold. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. I do have a gold coin I purchased a few weeks ago. I should get it in a few days. I'm going to be heading to the flea market tomorrow, hoping to get some more vintage. If I don't score there, I'm definitely going to be going to my LCS. And I do actually have some event that I will be attending, and I'm going to try to maybe, I don't know if I'll stream it live, but I'll make some uh, video of it and upload it to YouTube in the near future. So thank you all so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and as always, stack that gold.